I can see why a lot of people come to Hoi An and some meat. Then the shipping grow. Incredible. They're gonna kill us. It's spectacular. The lantern show goes on every, every night. single. It's gonna be mind blowing. China Beach, Mikei Beach. It is beautiful. That sand is so hot. That is the coolest building. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I can see why a lot of people come to Hoi An. It is absolutely adorable. There's no doubt you're in a tourist town as soon as you get here. The energy switches entirely, as do the prices. But it's much cooler. First, we're gonna walk off and get some food. And later we're gonna hopefully catch the lantern ceremony. For now, we're just gonna dodge some taxis and some motos and some cars and some Bad lanterns guys. and uh, go find some food. Well, this is cute. This place was recommended to us from a few people. They have a set menu and you just, oh, here's more. Oh, the bonsai is here. <laughs> Which oh, we love. This is the bonsai. There's a specific way in which you have to use all the ingredients here. Grab a piece of paper, a little bit of lettuce, Use some of that water to make it a little more pliable. And some meat. Whoop. Okay, we're gonna go with one of these instead. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Dip it in yours. She's much better at this. I always destroy it. <laughs> They're crunchy with all the vegetables and the rice paper. Pancake crunchy. But the sauce is what really makes it. Cucumber, the kimchi, then the supreme roll, and then the pork, cut up banana leaf here. Okay. Oh, come on. I destroyed this. This is not what I did before. The lady that works here insisted on coming up with choice again how to do it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I think it tastes just as good no matter how you make it, but that was really cool. Beautiful. Big more, big more. I love playing with my food. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this place is absolutely amazing. So, what she said, it's about $6 a person. Here's Auntie. It's Auntie's place. And then we're going to show you the kitchen real quick. So, make sure to come here when you're in Hoi An. Definitely thumbs up. Oh, yes. Yeah. So good. Thank you. I got fed again. Oops, sorry, I'm getting in the way of progress. Mm. Incredible. Just incredible. Oh, those are so good. We gotta stay out of the worker's way because they got a ton of people waiting for their amazing food. Oh my God, they're gonna kill us. <laughs> they keep feeding us. Family, bye. Bye, thank you. They stuffed us up with more food and gave us a takeaway box. This food's so good. And now we're going to, with no preparation, find a bridge that they have lanterns on. I'm sure it'll work out. We don't get run over. This way. We're getting matching outfits. We're doing it. He does ask me every day, what were you wearing so he could match me? It's exactly true. Fluffy, get out of there. Hoi An is known for all of their clothes. And walking through the streets, it's spectacular. Each place is just a tiny bit different than the other one. I like Hoi An. Everybody is dressed up. I feel really underdressed, but there's some people in white that are just stunning. I really want to buy new clothes just so I can walk around this town. <laughs> there's a lot of Instagrammers, but there's a lot of people that are just dressed up. What a cool little town. Definitely glad we came here. I am too. I can't wait till, I think this is six. That's when all the lanterns lit light. It's gonna be mind blowing. I'm really glad we did this at night because I was gonna avoid the crowds and come during the day just to see the town. I got an affogato, which is vanilla ice cream with espresso poured over it. It looks like vanilla, it could be coconut. It's supposed to be vanilla. It's vanilla. Oh, that's really good. Ooh. That is strong espresso. 
That's gonna keep me up. <laughs> she talks a good game. She'll be out like a light. This is kind of a cool building behind me. Not really sure what's up with it other than it's got like some pretty flowers. There's like a line for people to stop and get their pictures taken in front of that building. If you've gotten your Instagram picture taken in front of that building, you are not original. This is the famous bridge that lights up and everybody does an Instagram shot here. It is fun to watch all the people, but it's very chaotic. <laughs> Dodging a few selfie sticks, but you know. I'm holding one out there too, so it's not like I can. Just learned something new. I think this is a Japanese bridge, but I left all my notes at home, so I will tell you a little bit more about that right about now. I'm starting to light the lanterns up. Lived up to everything people said about it. We almost didn't come here just because it was so touristy. The Ash and Kells came here during the ceremony and it was just crazy, but I think they were here during Chinese New Year and it was just a little bit much, it seemed like. Really glad we came. And you definitely have to stay for night. It's like 6.30 now. The Lantern Show goes on every, every night. Single, yeah, every single night. It's a little darker than it looks in the photo. Make sure to go to our new favorite restaurant in Hoi An because they are amazing. I would eat there at least a couple times a week. Good, because there's more. still food in my backpack from them. They <laughs> just kept shoving food in my backpack. So uh, no. now we gotta go find our driver. We will catch you tomorrow. Yeah. But I think I'm sleeping in. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you deserved it. <laughs> Today we're headed to Me K Beach, also known as So we're switching to GoPro. Wow. This beach is beautiful. Well, I can definitely see why they made this an R&R &R place. The sand is lovely and powdery. You need to go check out the water. Shit, I'm recording. This water is amazing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a lady over there wearing a mask in a bikini swimming. I, I don't get it. Maybe you do. This will work nicely. That is the coolest building I've seen in a long time and I thought it was a hotel but it's mud bath it's called Glenna Da Nang mud bath and they say yo guess you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for you I'm busy trying to take it higher got no time for that it's like Australia you need to swim between the flags I love it when there's directions I'm all about staying within the parameters I really like this beach. It made no sense. Do you want to build a snowman? That sounds hot. <laughs> I'm going to the water. You coming? Oh my god, that sounds hot. Oh my god, that sand is so hot. <laughs> Our feet aren't at the total sissy level either. They're a little sissy-ish, but not totally. That sand is blistering hot. <laughs> bit windy out here. Uh, hopefully you can hear. If not, we'll just voice over. But China Beach, Mike Beach, gorgeous. Love it. This will likely be the end of this vlog. Tomorrow we leave early in the morning on a 12-hour train ride to Nha Trang. More beach. <laughs> if we don't see you later on tonight, we'll see you on the train. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>